Hi everybody, today I have a what's in my bag video for you. I'm not sure if they're still uh, in style on YouTube or not, but um, I know that I haven't cleaned out my purse in a while and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity just to see what is in it. So uh, here we go. So first of all, my bag is a Nicole Miller New York bag. Um, nothing fancy. I bought it at Winners. In um, I think it was about $65, but I love it. It's a buff color. It has this um, large pocket on the outside. I love the tassels. Um, it has a back zip pocket. A nice little short little strap that you can throw it over your shoulder or just hold it. And it also has the crossbody strap, which I love. Um, those are just the most comfortable for me. So let's see what's in it. So we'll just start off in the front pocket. This is usually where I keep my cell phone, which I am taping on right now. So that's not in there. Um, let's see, some Kleenex. <laughs> we don't need to see that. I have a pen. This is just a Paper Mate Ink Joy, but it has a stylus on the um, end, so I use that with my phone. I'm going to switch hands here. And there's nothing else. Um, I didn't mention before, I uh, love this bag because it has gold hardware. And I am a gold person. I don't look good in silver. I'm, I'm not a fan of silver. And uh, the gold is what really sold me on this bag. And on the inside, there is a reptile kind of pattern in there. I'm not sure exactly what it is, python. But it's a, a nice shiny material. And I think it's it's pretty gorgeous. <laughs> so that's it. That's all I had in the front pocket right now. Let's see what's in the back zip pocket. Sorry, this is a little awkward. Uh, oh, right now it's pretty much empty. But there's the detail on the uh, inner lining. Just, I love everything about this bag. Now on the inside... Got this nice little pull tab. Unzipping, unzipping. So there's a inner pocket here. There's an inner pocket without a zip here. And then there's a another inner pocket here with a zip, which I've undone. And then there's the uh, Nicole Miller tag, again with the gold lettering. So let me just go into this pocket first. I usually, in this pocket, I usually put beauty related items. So let's see what's in there now. Oh, more Kleenex. Yeah, I, I love Kleenex. I'm the Kleenex queen. I just can't be prepared enough. Oh, I have my Sephora uh, brush in here. Um, there should be some hair ties and um, bobby pins in here. I don't know where it is or where they are. Probably in the pocket. I have my silica gel pack, which I just leave in there. I have another mini pen. Pens are always handy. I have my compact, uh, my Union Jack compact, uh, which I got from the Dollarama. I love this. This is my second one. <laughs> I broke the first one, and luckily they had that pattern available still. What's this? Oh, this is my Soft Lips Lip Balm with SPF 20. So I keep that just for sunny days. And it's a, uh, what is that? Watermelon uh, scent. Oh, I have a nickel. That needs to go into my change purse. Okay, so that was the zipped pocket. Let's see what's in the uh, other pocket unzipped. Oh, I have my pocket bag from Bath & Body Works. This is Sweet Pea. I don't know why I have this. I think I'm just trying to use it up. It's a nice little fruity uh, scent. What is this? Oh, my movie ticket from last week when I went to see Tarzan. I did a vlog about that, so I'll link that up there. Oh, I have my Metro Pass for the month of September. This is for our transit system. And I get one every month because it's um, 
it's a good it's a good uh, value if you work downtown and you know you can do things at lunch and you know go back and forth without worrying about paying uh, extra fare and then that's that I've got my wallet in here this is from coach it's really old I think it's time to get a new one but it's got all of my stuff oh and a loose uh, fiver which I have to put into my wallet I've got my credit card. I've got my Starbucks card. I recently reached gold level status, so I got my card in the mail, but I don't want to use it, so I stick with my old card. And then I have my um, gas cards and my air miles card, and then, of course, my health card and my license, which I'm covering up. And I have some money in there, but I'm going to get a haircut tomorrow, and that'll be gone. I have some gum. I always have whitening gum. I just love it. Sugar-free whitening. I have my... <laughs> I brought my lap... I'm at my grandfather's house. I just came to visit him today and I brought my laptop so I could edit some videos as well. So I have my power cord here. I have my uh, cord for my phone so I can recharge it. This is so ghetto. <laughs> I've... Uh, duct taped it because it's falling apart here. I, st I still have a 4S. It's, it's dying on me slowly. I have to replace it, but I'm just too cheap. So I'm just going to wait and just keep taping up that cord. It's <laughs> my little coin purse that I got from... I'm pretty sure I got it from Dollar Tree. Do we need to go in here? I don't think so. It's a Canadian coin purse, so that means there are no pennies in there, but there are toonies and loonies and everything else. Oh my gosh. I have a book. I thought I was going to read a book today with my grandfather, but I decided to film this and uh, edit some videos instead and forgot to take the book out. I also have my renewal for my uh, driver's license. I have to go get that done because it expires next month. I have a receipt. Indigo. Oh, for that book, which I got a few weeks ago and I still haven't got rid of the receipt. I have my sunglasses, which I absolutely love. They're a little bit funky on the side. My nephew keeps looking at them and saying that I have them on backwards because the, um, the uh, what do you call this, the earpiece, whatever, is on the bottom. I think that's a, a very 70s vibe to them. And I love large lensed glasses because, you know, I'm concerned about wrinkles around the eyes. So I like to cover them. I like to make sure all of my eyes and eyebrows are covered. And these are like a tortoise shell. And I got them from Joe Fresh at the Real Canadian Superstore for about 20 bucks. What else? I see my makeup bag in there. I have to reach for that. Ooh! bank receipt. <laughs> My pension statement. <laughs> I recently had to go transfer some of my pension money into a different account, different savings account, and I did not put that back in my records. I have my prescription glasses in here. Um, I use them for driving mostly. got them from Hakeem. They are my old man glasses. The only thing I don't like about them is the silver detail on the side. But not much I can do about that now. I wear them, I like them, and I love the green on the inside. They're not a name brand or anything. I don't wear glasses often enough to concern myself with name brands, so I think it was just like the generic house brand, the Hakeem brand. I have my makeup bag. We'll get into that last. Oh, Starbucks receipt. I can toss that out. I have panty liner. <laughs> My package of Kleenex, I'm always buying these from either the dollar store or from Walmart. I always have to have that in my bag. I have this uh, Vitamin Hydrating Mist by First Aid Beauty. I think I got this in a, like a Try Me kit off of Sephora at around Christmas time. Um, but I love this brand, it's great for sensitive skin. And uh, this is just like a hydrating spray, it's not a setting spray, just a hydrating spray. And I think it has a scent to it. Hold on. Well, it's fresh, but kind of like a mint. I can't 
truly explain. I'm going to have to smell that again. I have a Bath and Body Works coupon. Oh, July 4th to 31st. That is so expired. I have some bobby pins. I think those were in my hair. Oh, these are my keys. I've got my Menchie's card on them. And my Good Life Fitness card. I have not been there in a while, so it's time to go back. I also have this cute little keychain from Coach. You'll see there's some tape on it because I taped it together because it flies open so easily. I haven't put any pictures in there yet. I think I, I'm going to get a picture of my niece and nephew and put it in there. But it, it's just a, it's a cute little charm. It doesn't really, it doesn't tarnish. I've had this on my uh, keychain for quite a while. So far, everything is fine. It's got uh, jewel detail, but the only problem is is that it flies open very easily, so I did try to tape it, but I'm going to have to do that again. I have my EOS hand lotion, and that's funny because I was looking for hand lotion prior to starting this video because my hands are a little bit dry, and totally forgot I had this in my purse. I've never tried this before. Got it from the Dollarama. And you know, funny thing is, I, you know, you see them in the package like this. I totally thought that it was a solid um, um, hand uh, lotion. I thought it was something that you would like rub in your hands like this. Uh, kind of like something the L that Lush would make. Um, but it's not. It's actually a squeeze tube, which you probably all know, but I had no idea. And it's in a cucumber scent, I believe. Uh, hair tie that belongs in here. The other hair ties. Actually, these came in here in this... Um, did I show this to you? I know I said it's from a video. But yeah, it's a mirror and then it's a pop-up brush, which I haven't cleaned in a while, so excuse that. And then this compartment opens and you could stick your little, you know, hair things in there. And I have my um, pocket, my new pocket back. The other one was my old one, but I'm just trying to, you know, finish it up. But this is my new one, my limoncello pocket back with my, um, what is it, holder? Toggle, what do you call that? But I keep it on the inside of my purse. I don't like things hanging on the outside of my purse. I think it's, you know, I think it's kind of tacky. I don't even like those fuzzy balls that people are putting on their purses. So that's it, that's my bag. It's quite spacious in there, holds quite a lot. Oh, my makeup bag, we need to go in, into that. So I got this from Walmart, it was pretty cheap, it was about $5, it's plastic. Um, it says life is short, wear some bling, and it's got like kind of a disco type feel to it. Um, I love bling. I love glitter. I love uh, rhinestones. I love to bedazzle <laughs> t-shirts. I just, I, I think the world would be a happier place if there was more glitter and more bling around. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I showed you this. Uh, it's a glitter nail polish from the Mariposa line uh, that you can buy at Dollarama. And I just love it. I love how blingy it is. I mean, it's pretty awesome. It looks really nice with my um, makeup bag. Anyway, let's get into the makeup bag itself. So this is just the stuff that I carry with me day to day. Um, I toss it in whichever bag I'm using at the moment. So I always have my beauty blender and this is seen better days. It's time to get a new one, but I think I mentioned in my vlog from the other day that um, Beauty Blender is just so expensive, so I'm going to try and see if I can find a Real Techniques dupe and then wait for the Sephora sale, which is what, October, November, before I buy a, um, a new one. So that's that, and I use it with, um, this is my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in Neutral Medium, and I use this actually as a concealer, and sometimes... You know, if you're in a pinch or you unexpectedly have to stay over somewhere, I can use this as a foundation, although very sparingly. It's very thick. 
Um, but this is my day-to-day -day concealer or for on the go. I have other concealers that I use when I'm getting ready, you know, first thing in the morning. But this is the one that always travels with me. And this is actually a bonus size, which I got quite a while ago. And this is going to last me, I'm pretty sure, for almost another two years. <laughs> so that goes together. I also have my travel um, powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and Translucent. I just like this for touch-ups during the day or just to set my concealer with if I have to touch up my concealer. What else do I have in here? I have my, oh, this is old. This I usually keep this in my drawer. I don't really normally travel with it, so I'm not sure why it's in my bag at the moment. But it's my Smashbox, um, what is their eyebrow powder called? I can't remember, but this is the pen version, which I love before I got my Makeup Forever. And I'm pretty sure my Makeup Forever one is in there too, because I recall putting it in there in the morning. But this is their um, um, eyebrow pencil. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in another video. This used to be my holy grail, but not anymore. It's been usurped by Makeup Forever. But like I said, there you saw the um, pencil side. And then on this side, there's a clear gel. Is it clear? Is it? Yeah, it's clear. But I, I never use it. But that's a good thing to have um, on the other side of the pencil. So I'll be removing that from my travel bag because I don't use it. This is what I use. This is my Makeup Forever, but this is my my old pencil, and it has snapped, unfortunately. I don't know if that's happened to anybody else. I hope it doesn't happen to my new one, which I haven't opened yet. But, um, yeah, this side is the actual pencil, and then this is the spoolie. So I take these always in my little makeup case. That's my, I think, my number one concern or my eyebrows because they're very sparse and I don't like to have bald patches <laughs> so I always have an eyebrow pencil. I also have my Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm. Um, just love it. It's holy grail for me because I don't like to wear lipstick. I prefer lip balms and the tint on this, it's rose tinted. Um, the tint is so pigmented that it looks like you it kind of looks like you're wearing a very deep lip gloss or lipstick. Um, it's, I just, I love this stuff. This stuff is magic to me, and until I find something better, I'm just going to keep buying this. And the only other thing I travel with is a nail file. It's broken. I've had this forever. But this is the important part. I love metal nail files, and um, it's a perfect size to keep in here. So that is all I keep in my travel makeup bag. The only thing, things that I need for touch-ups during the day. And then just going back to this spray right now, I realized it smells like citrus. It's a very citrusy scent. And um, I read the ingredients in the back afterward, and it does, it says uh, citrus, there's bergamot, there is sandalwood, but it's um, very citrusy in a tangerine kind of a way, not a lemony or an orangey way. I, I get uh, the scent of tangerine. So it's very refreshing. So that was what was in my purse today. <laughs> it was a big old mess. My purse is usually much more um, cleaned out and organized. So although personally it was uh, kind of awful to see how messy it was, uh, I guess it made um, a more interesting, I mean it wasn't super interesting by any means, but it made for a more interesting video for today. So thank you for uh, sharing this with me. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. I'm trying to upload more often. I have a lot of videos right now on deck for editing. I just have to find time to edit them and upload them. So bear with me and um, I just appreciate you watching. So have a great uh, day, afternoon, evening, whatever it is, and I'll see you around soon. Bye.